I'm sure by now that you have seen the devastating missile attack that Iran did to the nation of Israel. The Bible talks about wars and rumors of wars. And I believe that these kind of things that are going on right now are part of the end time events and story that God has unfolded to us through God's word. Some of you may ask, brother, does this mean that we are in the end times? Let me say this to you. We were in the end times immediately after Jesus resurrected back into heaven. Meaning to say, 2,000 years ago up until now, we are already in the end times. And this end time story, according to God's word, is getting more and more clearer as the days go by and as the years go by. In fact, this birth pains that we're seeing right now are just evidence of what is going on. This ongoing conflict with Iran and Israel, especially this latest barrage of missiles that Iran shot to Israel, have bigger repercussions. It's not only an escalation of war, but I think that there is implications to this from a biblical standpoint, and this is what we're going to be looking at today. The Bible is not shy in talking about Israel facing enemies from its neighbors. This is an issue that has been ongoing since biblical days. And even up to today, we are still seeing that Israel is going through war with its neighbors. One of these neighbors is Iran, or in biblical days, known as Persia. And in today's Iran, they are using what is known as proxies to attack Israel but instead fired from their own country themselves. So many of you may be watching here and been asking, okay, well, what is the significance of this in the Bible? There are many passages. I'm just going to go through two of them. The Bible tells us in Ezekiel chapter 38 and 39, a specific war that is to come. It's called Gog and Magog. And we also see this in the book of Revelations as something that is prophetically yet to come. In these two chapters, we see a coalition of nations that are going to go against Israel, and that includes a particular place called Persia, which happens to be modern-day Iran. Gog and Magog, as referenced again in the book of Revelations, is known to be an end-time event in the last days, meaning to say uh, we don't know exactly when that will be. But one thing is sure, in the war called Gog and Magog, Iran is particularly present there. In Ezekiel chapter 38, verse 5, allow me to go ahead and read that for you. It says here, Persia, Cush, and Put will be with them, all the shields and helmets. What this passage means is Persia, or modern-day Iran, will be one of those nations that will go against Israel in the end times. Now, we are in the end times, and we are seeing the effects of that. We're seeing the fulfillment of prophecy happening right in front of us. Personally, and I could be wrong here, I do not think that the latest missile barrage is part of Gog and Magog, but I do believe that what's going on right now are precursors to the future war that is to come at a later event. I don't know exactly when that will be. The Bible doesn't uh, give us specifics as to when that will be. But one thing is sure, Iran is one of those enemies of Israel, as foretold in the scripture, will go against the nation of Israel. Persia is identified as a key player in this end time event. And now we're seeing a form of fulfillment to it. Not completely the way it will be because Gog and Magog will be a bigger global conflict that is to come. This particular war that is to come shows us the unifying effects of multiple nations going against Israel, including modern-day Iran. The Bible reminds us in Psalm 83 to pray for the enemies of Israel. Psalm 83 is one of those chapters that is a cry for us to pray for Israel against the enemies that comes against her. The spirit of enmity is truly in this coalition of countries that are going against Israel, and this includes the nation of Iran. How do we know this? In Psalm 83 verse 4, the Bible says, Come, they say, let us destroy them as a nation that the name of Israel will be remembered no more. This seems to be the similar cry of Iran. This seems to be the similar cry of nations that are against Israel, 
that Israel will be no more. This is what they chant, death to Israel, death to America, death to the infidels. When we hear of this and when we see these things, be reminded that this particular chance is not just something that is made up now, but prophetically speaking, it was foretold way back about what is to come. This shows us the desire of the nations around Israel to eliminate her. But yet, we know that God is the refuge of the people of Israel. And God is there for them. And the people that support them, the people that pray for them, the people who pray for the peace of Jerusalem, you and I who are here, we can join our faith together in believing for the peace of Jerusalem and for the victory of Israel. Let's pray for Israel right now. Dear Heavenly Father, we pray for the peace of Jerusalem. We ask, Lord, that you will have your hand over the nation of Israel and over the nations that are around them. Lord, I pray that you, Lord, will protect and be there for Israel as they go through this conflict with Iran right now. I ask your favor for this, and I pray for everyone that's watching here. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for watching. If you're asking, why do we do what we're doing? We're doing this so that this message of hope that is found in the Bible will go further than we can ever do in an in-person basis. Thank you so much. I hope you can share, like, and comment. I look forward to seeing you next time here. God bless you. Bye-bye.